Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out Adobe's Substance 3D Modeler application. And I'm not a modeler by trade or in general. What we're going to do is we're going to try to build something here. Um, we'll start with this ball, if you will place that and then let's do some little n-gon eyes Oops, let's uh, make that smaller smaller still and we're going to click on this color palette we're going to change the color to blue like that. And I feel like that should be good. And then we'll go over here and we'll do the same. It's going to be kind of like a robot when we're done. Uh, let's go with a different shape now. So I'll pick a different tool here. Uh, this, this kind of egg shape looks good for a nose. It's a little too big for my liking, so we'll shrink it down a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the color palette. Make it slightly more. Like, I think that color should be good. Yeah, that's good. So we've got now our little faces nose and then oh wow we could have even used this like cone gouge it's called let's try this towers let's uh this is gonna it's almost like a donut And I feel like I want to make this a different color as well. I don't know why I keep making things different colors, but it seems like a cool idea. And this can be their mouth. I feel like I, I don't like this shape, though. Let's see if I can maybe make multiples, chain them together, and make that the mouth instead. Let's turn it a bit. And then a little bit more this way. So now it kind of looks like a clown or a jack in the box. In fact, let's 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 go with that theme. Let's take another shape here. We'll go with the cylinder. And with that cylinder, we'll change the color palette to black. And we'll make it big like that. And I'm just going to put this, I'm going to put this over here for now. I think I can grab it again if I do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the palette again, to the tools. And we're going to try to find something a little bit more flat with a clay tool. Let's try... Let's go back with the towers again. But this time, let's make it... Whoa, not that big. A little bit smaller than that that on their head and then with the select tool I'm gonna select this item whoops whoops I don't know what I just did I think I just undid everything I just did uh oh 
So we need to figure out how to get back a layer. There we go. All right, so let's just uh, let's go back to this clay tool. We'll pick the cylinder. We'll redo the cylinder all together. We need that cylinder to go in a specific tilted direction on top of the hat here. To make kind of like a top hat. And then what we'll do is, yeah, we're going to make a smaller cylinder now. Let's go below. We'll pick a different color cue. Let's go with yellow for this. And then let that kind of stick out of the bottom. And we'll move everything up. And we will go with a different shape now. We're going to go with a box. Again, we're going to change the color. I'm going to go with a red. Actually, that's more orange. We're going to go over here to the red. We're going to make the sides of that box much larger. And then I think it's this one. Uh, that manipulates the shape. We needed that for the hat earlier. Whoops. All right. So now we need to go. I want to make a crank for the side here. There's that. And. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do this all right so outside of the uh, piece over there that I don't think we're supposed to have in this image but I don't actually know how to erase without erasing like whole swaths of information let's see if I have a tool for erasing Do I have a tool to erase Maybe I can go with the different layers. Can I go to the layers? I don't want to do that. I want to... This looks like an eraser. There we go. So there's our erase tool. What we're going to do is select that cylinder shape. Plop. There we go. Got rid of that. We do not need the erase tool anymore. We'll go back to our clay tool. So I've got a jack in the box with the crank, with the box. Kind of a prototype. Um, now what we'll do is I'm going to make this much smaller because I need to see what I'm doing. I believe there's a way to do let's go with the painting tool. I'm going to do the painting tool. I think the little swivel thing should be good. All right. And we will do Oh wait, it's the same color. I need a different color. Blue. And we're going to put say half the block. Whoops, 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 whoops. Undo. Uh, actually, I'll just go like right in the center here. 
there we go add a little bit of color to it so I am not in any way a digital artist so this is also available as a application right now in medium uh, which is a little bit more simplistic a little, not not as refined as substance 3d modeler this is a beta right now and show you a little bit more about what you can do in virtual reality that's not necessarily gaming uh, i made a bad of course because i'm not an artist prototype of a jack-in-the-box right here it's pretty cool i hope you've enjoyed this video i will be back with more content soon until next time get out there and enjoy some vr for yourself and thanks for watching bye bye now